gonna talk about doing some advanced conditional formatting in Excel. Uh, we can use this in a variety of situations, but in this particular example, I'm gonna show you a list, which is gonna lead into the next video we do when we talk about finding duplicates. So, uh, I have a list in Excel, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to highlight the entire row, not just the one item, but the entire row for any that say uh, Vancouver, let's say, if the city is Vancouver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the entire list. Then on the Home tab, on the ribbon, I'm gonna go over to Conditional Formatting, and I'm gonna choose New Rule. And that pops up the New Formatting Rule dialog box. Because essentially what Conditional Formatting does is it will format cells based on a condition that I set. So there's a bunch of different options in here. Some of these are very basic. We're actually gonna use a formula to determine which cells to format. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky as far as how I would think about this. But what I wanna do is I want to do a condition based on column C here, okay? So I'm gonna say equals dollar sign C2. Now, let's go over this so this makes sense. I put a dollar sign in front of the C because I like that column to be locked no matter where I send this conditional formatting and I want it to apply to every single cell. It also is based entirely on which cell is active currently. So the active cell right now is A2, which means I'm setting up the rule for the first row, but it will get applied to all subsequent row rows. And if I don't put a dollar sign in front of the two, that's going to change to three and four and five and six. So this is a good thing. So I want to say where that cell equals, and then in quotations, I'm going to type Vancouver. So that basically means where this cell is Vancouver, I want it to apply to the entire row. The formatting is going to go in the entire row. And then on this next one, this would be C3. Vancouver, it doesn't match, so it wouldn't format it. So I then need to set a format. I'm just going to set a fill color here. Here we go. Okay, one more time. And as you can see, that applies the formatting change. Now, to do this a little bit slicker, because I might want to change from Vancouver to New York or London, it's probably best for us to reference another cell rather than typing in Vancouver. That way I can change the contents of the cell and it will update the formatting rules. So, let's highlight everything again. Let's go back to conditional formatting. This time, instead of making another one, I'm going to go to manage rules. Here's the one rule I have set already. I'm just gonna edit that rule. So I'm gonna click it, choose edit. So instead of Vancouver, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reference this cell. Now I've created another cell here in F2. And because it's always gonna be that cell for all the rows, you'll see that I actually did dollar sign F dollar sign two. So equals dollar sign C2, because that's the active cell, equals dollar sign F dollar sign two. I can choose a format, can change it if we wanted to. It's gonna leave it the same, hit okay. Okay, one more time. And now you can see that if I change this cell, my formatting automatically changes. So, using this nice trick, you can actually highlight entire rows of data based on a certain condition that you put in your Excel spreadsheet using that conditional formatting button. So give that a shot, it's a really great uh, tool. And in the next video, we're gonna use something similar to this to get the to get Excel to highlight uh, duplicates in your list, duplicate entries. So don't forget to check out our video tomorrow as well.